the original idea was to make a biographical film about a Kurt Cobain, about Kurt Cobain. It would be, he would be called Kurt. And I think that I just saw this kind of uh, wrong turn, you know, for me, of make, you know, having too much information, really trying to explain a life. It, it just started to become too, too much, and it would have big. I mean, to me, I thought I thought it would. I needed to pare it down, and so uh, I ended up, you know, uh, containing it within just the last couple of days, rather than trying to span an entire, uh, you know, ten years say, or. Or, or 27 years. It's much more about, I think, my own interest, you know, in <clears throat> in a person that lives in the Northwest during the same period of time that I lived there, that affected the area like greatly, that seemed to uh, kind of embody lots of different things. I mean, um, life in the Northwest, life in I think America, um, and sort of his his one story. You know, said a lot about a lot of different things. The more you thought about it, the more I was thinking about it. Um, and not so much because it was a touchy area. I just thought because it's touchy isn't necessarily the reason you shouldn't be doing it. I mean, everyone had their own idea uh, or thoughts about who Kurt was or, you know, um, what happened. And um, I, I think part of the idea of the film is that you can never really know somebody and and the uh, disparity between image and and what goes on in a person's life day to day um, is very much I think part of it I kind of I played it as though he was remembering his uh, he was remembering his death probably for a lot of his life so I, I, the way I played it was um, um, was less about like the events that were happening in front of him were leading him to it, more about he kind of always knew that that was going to happen. You know, I mean, it was fantastic. Michael was definitely inspirational when uh, he played his music. Early on, I heard him play and videotaped him. You know, even six years six years earlier, it's many years old. We talked about this project for many years. And Michael would play, I think Death to Birth was one of the songs that he would play, and he would um, s start screaming, which sort of, you know, uh, fit the idea of, of this character. Basically, Michael has bad posture, and, <clears throat> no, but, that. Um, and oh, but also you're playing this character, and it always looked to me like he was carrying something very heavy through the movie. Um, but also, it's like, are you, you know, it's also, something he's I, playing. I didn't, I, didn't re uh, I changed my diet for it because I, um, I knew that the, um, we were, you know, the character was a junkie. And um, so I changed my diet, but I didn't really know how to do that. So I just ate lettuce and, um, and fruit. And kind of the whole time that I was shooting it, my, I was, my stomach was <laughs> in pain. Um, which was, which was really good. It was for the physicality. You know, it wasn't really ever. It was this character named Blake. Um, so, I mean, there were a lot of things about Kurt that were, were kind of inspired in 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 as part of the movie. But it was it wasn't inspiration. It wasn't anything that accurately portrays a real person. <clears throat> so it's an you know it's an inspired by uh, piece. We also didn't really know what happened during that period of time. It was all um, more of a, a, a poetic exercise.